Hi guys, my name is Marlon. We'll be going through a full body Pilates workout today, around 30 minutes. The only thing you need to have is a mat. So let's start standing. Make sure you start with your two feet parallel to each other in line with your hips. And make sure your weight is right in the middle of your feet, in the center of your feet. So not on the toes, not on the heels, right in the center. Bring your arms by your sides and rotate the arms from the, for the palms to face forward. That will help you find a nice opening here between your collarbones. But make sure you didn't open the ribcage, you keep it braced. We reach now the arms up toward the ceiling, palms facing each other. We want length between the shoulders and all the way through the, through the fingers. But we want to make sure we keep the shoulders down. Here we will, we will try to lengthen the distance between the hips and the ribcage. So on an inhale, on an inhale, breathing into the ribcage, we try to lengthen the distance between the hips and the and the ribcage. So inhale, we're reaching up, exhale, go down. Breathe into your ribcage, inhale. Open the ribcage to the sides, laterally open the ribcage to the side, and on an exhale, you let go. And again, inhale, raise into your ribs, exhale, close the ribcage, and inhale, lengthen, exhale down. Last one, inhale, lengthen, exhale down. Good. Now grab with your left hand, grab your right wrist. And you will flex your trunk, flex your body towards the left side. Make sure you keep pressing your two heels down into the ground. You keep facing forward, so make sure your two shoulders are still facing forward. And reach, use your, your hand on your wrist to reach to find the stretch into your right side. And exhale, bring everything back to the center. Switch hands and flex towards the other side. So make sure again here your two heels are pressing down, your left heel is pressing down, and make sure you're not collapsing on your right side, you keep it grounded here. And exhale, go back to the center. One more each side, switch the ends, and back to the other side. Good. Keep facing forward, exhale, center, switch. Last one, flex, press your two heels down, Find the length into your left side and keep the ground into your right side and exhale center. Bring the arms by the sides, palms are facing the body now. You will lift the shoulders up on an inhale and on an exhale, you just let go. Inhale, lift, exhale, let go. Two more, inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale, good. So now we we'll sit down on the mat. <coughs> two feet down on the floor, open hip distance apart. Grab the back of your thigh with your two hands, curl the lower back, pulling the abs in, and roll all the way down, two way down on the mat, on your back, good. Right now. Now keep your arms by your sides, palms facing down. Make sure your neck is long so you touch the shin slightly and the shoulders are down. Here, make sure you can place your feet in order to be able to find your hamstrings. So for that, to, to feel your hamstrings, you will, without moving the, the feet, you will pull your heels towards your glutes. So your hamstring should be on now. Imagine you have a little ball between your knees and you're pressing into this ball to engage your inner thighs too. So keep the inner thighs engaged, keep the hamstrings engaged, keep your arms pressing down into the floor. And on an exhale, we will curl, pull the abs towards the spine, curl your lower back, and we will articulate the spine, peeling the back off the mat one vertebra at a time, reaching your hips towards the ceiling, and reaching your knees forward. The point here is to try to open the front of the hips. Inhale at the, at the top, and exhale, hold back down, starting from, starting from the chest, so the lower one vertebra at a time, upper back, middle back, lower back, and then take one. Again, make sure you didn't lose the hamstrings engagement, so pull your heels towards you and curl, lift, peel off the mat, reaching the hips towards the ceiling, reaching the knees forward. 
Inhale, exhale, hold back down. One half to half a time. To spine, use your arms to to help you lift. So you press your arms into the into the mat. Inhale, exhale, hold like that. We go for one more. One more. Make sure we don't forget about the the inner side. So imagine this little ball between your knees, especially when you're up, and curl the lower back. Articulate your spine, peeling up the mat one vertebra at a time. Don't lose the inner thigh here, so we don't want to open the knees to the side. We keep the knee just in line with the hips. Inhale and exhale, hold like that. Good. Now open your arms in a T position, palms facing up. Make sure the, the hands are just in line with the shoulders, right here. We will, we will bring the legs into what we call tabletop position. So tabletop is when your, your knee is just in line with your hip. Your shin is parallel to the floor and your, your foot is pointed. So bring one leg up to tabletop position, pull the abs in and bring the other leg up to tabletop position too. Good. Bring your knees and feet together, press the inner thighs together so you really squeeze the knees, squeeze the feet, squeeze the inner thigh. And on an inhale, we will rotate just in the knee of the ribcage, so we will rotate only the lower part of the body. Everything stays stacked. You will inhale, you lower toward the left side. So my Right hip will lift just to make sure we stay on the same. We we keep the, the stack of the hips. We keep the stacks the stack of the knee and the feet. And on an exhale, using the exhale, you press into your legs and you come back to the center. Good. And again, inhale, lower towards the other side. Make sure your two shoulder blades stay down so the upper part of your trunk is not moving. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale, so on your inner side, use the exhale to bring the legs back to the center. Inhale, exhale. So you can stay into a, into a T position. I'm just stuck here, so I bring my, my arms into a wide V. Stay into, into a T position if you can. And inhale, exhale. Keep the stack of the knees, keep the, the feet stacked. Inhale, and we do one more each side. Inhale, lowering down, make sure your right shoulder blade is still pressing down. Exhale, center. And last one, inhale, left shoulder blade pressing down. Exhale, to the center. Good. Bring one foot down on the, on the floor and then the other. Make sure your feet are back uh, to open hip distance apart. Knees, same thing, open hip distance apart. Interlace your fingers, bring your hands behind the head. Tuck the shin, so make sure your, your neck is long. And you will press, so really press the head into your hands and you resist with your hands. Good. Just to make sure that we won't use the neck to lift. Keep your abs on and keep your pelvis parallel to the floor. So we don't want to tuck the table, we want to stay in a neutral spine. The abs are on and parallel to the floor. On an exhale, we curl the head and chest up. Make sure we're not tucking the table. Inhale at the top, exhale down. And again, exhale, inhale, and exhale, exhale, inhale, a little pose at the top, exhale down. One more of this space, exhale, inhale, exhale down. Now we go a little bit faster, so we exhale to lift, and inhale to go down. And again, exhale. Inhale down. Exhale. Two more. Last one. And down. Keep your hands behind the head. We will lift again into the chest lift to make sure again that your pelvis stay parallel to the floor. We are not here, we are here. Good, the, the ribcage is elevated, and now we will go into a rotation. So rotating again, the top part of your trunk, of your trunk, make sure your hips stay stable. Exhale, we rotate towards the right side. 
Inhale, center, exhale, hold to the side. Inhale, center, exhale. So I'm trying to elevate my ribcage. I try to keep the shoulder, blades, the shoulder blades away from the mat. And I'm bringing one side of my ribcage towards the opposite side, to, towards the opposite hip. Exhale. Center. Last one each side, exhale, exhale, and center, roll the head and chest down, good. Bring the arms by your side, we will uh, bring, yeah, keep the arms by the side, we will keep the feet, feet down on the floor and open hip distance apart. Make sure we, we find the hamstrings again, so the back of the thigh, we pull the heels towards the, the glutes, so the hamstrings should be on. And imagine this little ball again between your, your knees to engage the inner thigh. Press your arms into the mat. And on exhale, we go into the articulation of the spine again. So we curl the tailbone. We start peeling the, the back of the mat. And we reach your hips towards the ceiling, pressing into the arms. So here we will unload the right leg up to tabletop position. So making sure we don't drop the hips. We keep the hips up. We are working out on the left side here. And on an inhale, we just lower the foot, keeping the same angle at the knee. We lower the, we lower the foot down on the floor. Exhale, you lift back up. Inhale. Use your arms, press into your arms into the mat. And make sure you keep your left knee in line with your hip. Exhale, lift Inhale. Two more. Last one, bring your foot down, press into your arms, press into your feet, make sure your hips are still up, pull your right heel toward your glutes, lift your left leg up to tabletop position, good, inhale, we lower again, same thing, keep the same angle at your knee, and exhale, lift back up, inhale, so strong into your right side now, your hips. Good. I know it's hard. Last one. Bring your foot down. Make sure your hips are up and slowly hold that down. So starting from the chest first. Move back and roll back at the table. Now interlace your fingers again. Bring your hand behind the, your head. Press your head into your hands. Make sure your, your neck is long. Bring one leg up to tabletop. So you remember tabletop, the knees just over the hips, the shin is parallel to the floor. Pull the abs in and bring the other leg up to tabletop position. Keeping the knees open, hip distance apart, feet and knees open, hip distance apart. On an exhale, we curl the head and chest up. Inhale, we go down. Exhale. Inhale. Again, making sure we're not taking the table, so we don't arch the lower back. Exhale. And two more. And last one. On this last one, we stay up and we add the rotation, keeping the legs table top. We hold it to the trunk towards the right side. Inhale, center. Exhale. the shoulder blades out of the mat. Keep the hips stable, so no rotation in the hips. Exhale, press your head into your hands. And one more each side. And center, lower the head and chest back down. Bring one foot down and then the other. Keep your knees bent. Bring your arms by your sides. 
make sure again your neck is long so you turn the chin slightly and we bring the right leg up to tabletop position. So we stay here in tabletop, we stay on the right side, we keep the same angle at the knee and on an inhale we lower the, the, toe, the foot down, exhale we lift back up. And inhale, exhale. So I'm keeping my abs on to make sure that I don't let go and I don't go into my lower back. So my lower back is just in a neutral position and I use my abs, my lower abs, my core to lift the leg and lower. And again, inhale. The other leg is stable. Make sure I'm not putting any tension in my shoulders here. So I'm trying to concentrate here into my pelvis. And last one. Good. Bring this foot down on the floor. We go to the other side. So we lift the left leg now up to tabletop. Strong tabletop. And it's just in line with the hip. Keep the same angle at the knee. We inhale, we lower the foot down. And exhale, we lift. And inhale. So think more about moving the thigh up and down and keeping the shin just where it is. Now we'll switch the legs, so when we will lift the right leg up to tables up and at the same time we will lower the left leg down. So exhale, switch. And exhale. So I'm strong into my lower abs here to make sure I don't go into my lower back. Exhale. your legs forward and put just a little pose and last breath so now make sure everything is back on so your abs are back on so rib cage is braced the so shoulders are down palms the palms of the hands are facing each other the legs are together squeezed and the feet are pointed on an inhale we curl the head and chest up to the shoulder blade and on the next one, we hold all, all the way up to a sitting position. In this sitting position, we keep a round shape in the body. So we're not collapsing here. The abs are on. Imagine there's someone pulling you, pulling, pulling your legs and, and arms forward, and someone else is pushing you into the body. So we want this right here. Inhale, exhale, we hold that down. Don't use the momentum, use your, your core. And down. So you control the movement. Inhale. Close the head and chest, exhale. Reach forward with the arms, roll the abs in, exhale, hold up. And inhale, exhale. 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 Stay down with this one, we bend the knees, we bring the knees towards the chest and we grab the ankles. Bend the elbows to the side, curl your head and chest up, the so knees are together, the feet are together and round your body, find um, like a bow shape in your body. We start holding on the lower back, so inhale, use your breaths, exhale and you go a little bit higher each time. All the way to the point where you can go up to, like your balance point up here. Make sure you keep your elbows bent to the side, you keep your hands on your on your ankle, and you keep this bow shape in your body. Close the abs in, 
Inhale, hold down, use your breath. Exhale, hold up. Inhale. Relax the shoulders. So it should be a nice massage on your back. And last one. All the way up. Extend your legs all the way in front of you. Straight. You'll be sitting tall on your mat, so make sure you're up on your sit bones. You will keep your legs straight and open a little bit wider than the hips. So legs, let's say just shoulder width. Your feet are flexed, so you engage the back of the legs. And imagine you're sitting tall against the wall here. So make sure you're, you're sitting tall, your back is straight. Arms are parallel to the floor, palms facing each other, shoulders down. On an exhale, imagine you have a ball on your thigh and we go up and reverse this ball. So you hold and curl in your head, your neck, your shoulders. Your abs are on and you reach forward. Inhale here, I'm not collapsing. I'm still up, I still have this round in my, in my spine. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, we curl back up. We stack in the spine, one vertebra at a time. Imagine the wall behind you, we stack and you sit straight against the wall. Inhale, exhale, curl. Reach forward, hold down. Inhale, exhale. Roll back up one vertebra at a time, we're stacking the spine, open the chest. Inhale, exhale, keep your feet flexed. Make sure your hips are just over your knees and your shoulders are just over the ends. To make sure everything is on, your core is on, try to think about a cross pattern flow between your hands and your knees. So you pull it, you're pulling your left hand towards your right, your right knee and your right hand towards your left knee. Make sure you're not dropping the shoulder blades, you're not dropping your chest between your arms. Your shoulder blades are wide, your neck is long in line with your spine. On an inhale, we reach the right arm forward and reach the left leg back and bring your hand in and back down and go to the other side reach your left arm forward right leg back make sure everything is on your abs are on make sure your two hips are parallel to each other and bring hands and knees back down and other side reach and back down and reach keep your neck long and now make sure your abs are on, we don't want to curl the lower back, reach, and down, exhale, reach, and down, and one more each side, and down, last one, and down. We'll reach again the right arm and the left leg out. And this time we we'll open to the side. So arms and leg opposite direction open and inhale back to the center. We stay on this side, we inhale to open, exhale to close. Inhale, exhale. Keep pulling your left hand toward your right knee and keep your hips parallel to each other. And exhale. Exhale. more. And last one. Good. Bring your hand and knee back down. Regroup, make sure everything is back on. And reach your left arm forward and your right leg back. And we inhale to open to the side. And exhale to close. Inhale. And exhale. Make sure there's no rotation in your leg. You keep the knee facing down, facing the ground. And inhale to open. And exhale. Back down. Regroup, hold your hands towards your knees, 
We will extend as the left leg out, keeping the toes down. Make sure your two, two hips are parallel to each other. And we lift the left, uh, the leg straight up towards the, the ceiling. And down. And lift. And down. So it's more a reach and lift. We don't want to, to bend at the lower back. We want to use the glutes to lift the leg. So go, go as high as you can without bending your lower back. And using your glutes. And use the exhale to lift. And two more. Last one. Keep your leg parallel to the floor. Keep the side parallel to the floor and bend at the knee. And you extend. And bend and flex your foot. And extend from your foot. And bend it. Flex, extend, point. Keep the two hips parallel. Make sure you didn't shift the hips. And then keep the abs on. And last one, keep your knee bent. Flex your foot and force your, your heel toward the ceiling. For one, two, three, four, five, six. 8, 9, and extend your leg and go all the way down bending your knee. Recenter your body, make sure your abs are on, extend your right leg down, back. Touch the, the floor with your toes, make sure your two hips are parallel, facing forward, lift the leg up, straight up and down. Exhale. your neck long, keep the eyes on, and make sure focus on your glutes. Good, and one more. Stay up here, keep your thigh parallel to the floor, flex your foot and bend at the knee, and point extend. Make sure you keep the side parallel to the floor. Keep your hips squared and exhale. And extend. Two more. And last one. Keep the knee bent. Make sure your, point, your foot is, point, is flexed and pulse the heel towards the ceiling. For one, two, three. Nine and ten. Then your knee brings the knee down. Now you cross the ankles on top of each other. Open your knees a little bit wider than the hips. And open your hands as well as, well as your mat. Make sure your thumbs are on the mat, your, your fingers are off the mat. A little bit in front of your shoulders. We reach the hips forward to find the diagonal line in your body, right here. And on an inhale, we go into some push ups. On an inhale, we open the elbows to the side with the lower down. And on an exhale, you lift back. And inhale, lower down. And exhale, back. Exhale. Keep your abs on. Make sure you didn't, you didn't let go of the abs. Your lower back is not bent. You keep everything on. Exhale. Exhale, and two more. Last one. All the way up. Now make sure your elbows are facing back. So the inside of your elbows are facing forward. We go into some triceps, push-ups. So we lower down, keeping the elbows as close as your body as you can. All the way to your chest. And exhale back up. And inhale lower down. Exhale. You should feel the back of your upper arms here, your triceps. Exhale. Making sure again your abs are on. You didn't let go of the abs. You're not curling your lower back. Two more. And last one. Good. And now we lower all the way down to bend your elbows and you lower all the way down on your belly. Extend your legs back. Keep your arms by your sides and bring your nose down on the mat. So make sure your two legs are together. 
you the, the top part of your feet are pressing down into the mat, you're reaching your legs back and you're pressing so much on the on the floor with your with your feet that you're almost lifting the thighs of the mat. Your arms are by your side, make sure your shoulders are not falling in. Yeah. Right here holding back, arms by the side, hands on the thighs, and on an inhale, we lift, we reach and lift the head, the neck, the shoulders up, sliding the hands down on the thighs. And exhale, you lower down. Inhale. Keep pressing the top part of your feet down on the, on the floor. And down. Keep your abs putting in, we don't want to press the abs on the mat. We want to use the back of the body, so make sure you're not pressing your chest or your abs down on the mat. You're using the back to lift. And down. And again, exhale, slide your hands on the thigh. And And down, one more. And down. Lift back up on your knees. Bring your hips toward your, your heels. Reach your arms forward. Take your rest pose here. Let go of the tension in your body. We walked a full body today. So release. And one more breath here. And lift back up. You're done for your workout today.